Hello everybody, today we're going to go over how to quickly uh, set up and get started using Expired Article Hunter. First things first, uh, once you purchase Expired Article Hunter, you'll be able to download a RAR archive of the software. Um, so Expired Article Hunter is actually standalone, so you don't need to install it. I know a lot of people um, kind of overlook that. Um, so all you need to do with your archive file folder is either open it up like this and drag everything out or just right click it and extract it in the folder and then you'll see these files right here you can get rid of that now and there you go you're all set so once you have that done all you want to do is open up expired article hunter and you should be presented with a licensing screen now obviously mine's already licensed so um, I don't have that but all you're gonna have to do is click register and enter your license key so once you have that part done the first thing you're wanna gonna want to do is um, go down here to the add expired domain section this is going to be a prominent part of the software you're gonna be using this a lot um, so first off we're gonna go to the scrape import list option and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and set yourself up with an expireddomains.net account. It's very simple. Simply follow that link. Uh, create an account here, enter your email, and all that. Once you've done that, enter your credentials for expiredarticlehunter.net in the uh, fields here. And just go ahead and test and make sure everything's working. And if, you, if it is, you should see that. Okay, so... We're all set up, we're all ready to go, and now you want to uh, start scraping some articles. So this is where we're going to do that. So you, I'm assuming you have some keywords you're probably going to be targeting. In this, for in instance, let's go ahead and just do something basic like health. You can get more and more targeted, and you can get as targeted as you want with that. Um, now you're going to want to set your, your range of expired domains that you want to pull in. You could do all, which would pull in, you know, about 30, well, however, how, however many expired domains.net has for that. Uh, I think the most it lets you download is about 30,000, which is a ridiculous amount, considering that each website could have thousands of pages. So you, you probably, in most cases, don't want to use that if you're using a really broad niche like this. Um, so you could go something more targeted and grab domains that have expired in the last 12 hours. It just means there's always going to be fresh domains for you to scrape, fresh content. Uh, okay, and then I usually check only available domains. That just ensures that it hasn't been re-registered. Um, even if it has, it doesn't necessarily mean that the person who re-registered it is going to be using the content from it. So you'll just want to be extra safe with that if you don't use that option. Um, minimum backlinks. This doesn't really matter for this. Um, we'll get we'll get into what that does later if you want to maybe target sites that have a little bit of age on them that might be useful in some cases if a site's you know less than a year old it might have just been something spammy that was set up and forgotten about so adding a little age onto this uh, might do you some good so once that's done and you have your settings here we're just gonna go ahead and click download domains and it's just gonna quickly pull in what it has so in this case, because our settings were pretty specific, six years and at least 12 hours ago, and available still, we only got 50 domains. But when I say only 50, that doesn't mean you're not going to have content, because like I said, even with 50 domains, one domain might have a thousand pages worth of content. So don't fret if you don't get many domains, you don't really need them, and in fact, I wouldn't even recommend it. Start small and see what you get. So uh, once you have your domains imported, just go, go ahead and click on Add Domains, and they're going to be sent over here to the Scraper section, um, where it says Domains to Check. So we're all ready, and we're going to go ahead and hunt some articles, and we're going to see what comes up. So this portion of the program, what it's doing right now, is it's going to each of those domains and checking to see if it has any... URLs that have been catch, cached in the Wayback Machine. So it's pulling all those in, pulling all those in, and uh, you just at this point you just want to let this work. So once it's done and it's checked all the domains, then it will go into 
uh, scraping articles. So it looks like it's finished now, so it's going to actually start uh, doing the article scraping. There we go. We're already getting some stuff in here. So that's it for now. In the next video, we'll go over some more in-depth settings for Expired Article Hunter.